Hello, welcome. My name is Eve and I will be teaching you your yoga today. Um, this flow is about um, your knees really. It's about knee mobility, um, using our knees in straight leg, bent leg poses. So obviously it's going to involve hips and legs um, and it's, it's a really nice flow and we will be flowing for quite a lot of the, of the class. So when you're ready, any equipment you need, um, grab it and come and join me. And we're going to start on your backs. So it is a full class today. And we're going to start and we'll finish on your backs. And we're just going to bring the knees into the chest and just give your back a nice little massage. Anything that you feel good about doing on your back, then absolutely. You're going to bring your feet to the floor, your arms out by the side, cross your right leg over your left and then just nice and casually just rocking the legs from right to left and you can keep that quite small or you can take the legs all the way to the floor and just get a feel to how it feels when you move to the twisting side and also to the other side which is a little bit more that I call like the working side. So we just get a little feel for just with our legs nice and casual and a nice freestyle movement to begin with. Now if you can, we're going to hug the knees into the chest while they're crossed and if that's not sort of really available to you then just uncross your legs of course and give your legs a nice big squeeze. And then we're going to take the legs up and what we're going to try and do is wrap our right foot around our left into eagle. We have a nice variation of downward dog today, which involves a little bit like an eagle downward dog. So let's just get a feel and also see what, you know, like the movement and, and range of movement that you have in your knees and your ankles, your feet and your toes as well. And then hug those legs all the way back down again. And let's take our legs over to the twisting side. So we're moving over to the left side. If you have to untangle your legs a little bit or all the way, absolutely. And if that drags your opposite shoulder off the floor, then just make a few adjustments so it all feels quite nice and quite cosy. Beautiful. So a really nice, subtle beginning. Bring that back into centre. Untangle your legs. Give them a nice big hug. Place your feet back on the floor, arms out by the side, cross your left leg over your right and that nice easy move of the legs. And if all that first side felt a little bit tricky and a little bit awkward for you, you could just stay with these for a little bit longer. Just that nice twist weaving side to side. And it just allows you to clear your mind and bring your breathing in nice and fully into your body. And then just bring your knees in, if you can keep them crossed, keep them crossed, and give them a nice big squeeze. And then take them up to the ceiling, see if this side you can wrap your left ankle, you might be able to do it one side, you might find one side is a little easier. And then if you can bend those knees in, by all means uncross your feet a little bit. And we're going to take your legs over towards the right side this time, which is going to make quite a big feeling of twisting just by the fact that we've sort of tangled up our legs, the heavy limbs, and obviously gravity. But just try and go with it. And then bring the legs back into centre, untangle the legs, and then big circles. Nice big sweeping circles. Maybe go a couple one way, and then go the other way. Hug the knees into the chest, we're going to curl our head up to meet our knees and then roll those shoulders down your back and whatever way you feel comfortable, safe and happy, bring yourself up. So from a seated we're going to come around onto our knees and our hands and I'll be sideways on here for you um, and then hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips and what we're going to start, we're going to get a little bit of movement going through our cat and cow but I'm going to suggest that we start our cat and cow on the fingertips. So we're going to round our spine into cat, on the tips of our fingers, and down into cow pose. And try and think about moving through your cat-cow 
just with that nice linking and fluidity to your breathing. But also try and think about keeping the weight quite light on your fingerprints. So rather than making full imprints into your mat with your fingerprints, try and make really light, almost invisible fingerprints. And while you keep this cat and cow going, this exhale and this inhale going, just let your hands share their way down onto your mat. Making sure that you've got weight through those four fingers now, right to those fingertips. Now while we keep this going, we're going to bring a little bit of core in. So exhale, inhale, cat and cow, but tuck your toes under. Next time you come into your cat spine, squeeze the belly in and hover your knees off the floor. Keep your spine rounded, try not to hold your breath, it's very tempting. And notice now that you're just using your core, try not to use just your arms to support you here. And then lower your knees, inhale through your cow pose. So all we've added is exhale cow, hover in our knees. Inhale cow pose, knees down. Exhale, cat spine, hover the knees. Inhale, cow pose, knees down. Exhale, cat spine, and hover. Inhale, cow pose, and knees down. One more cat spine, exhale, and then downward facing dog. And just get into your legs and your hips, your head, your neck, your mood, your mind. You can pad out the hands, you can snake out the spine. You can weave the legs in and out, or you can just hold in stillness. First down the dog, just make it yours. And then walk your feet to the top end of your mat. And just come to a ragdoll. And while you're in your ragdoll, give your hands a little wiggle, your wrists a little circle, and just shake out all that working from your arms there. Inhale, bring your hands to your shin bones so your spine is long, your legs are straight. And then exhale, just go back to that ragdoll and maybe just a little bit more love into those fingers, wrists, arms, shoulders. One more time to your halfway spine, breathing in. And then reach the arms to the ceiling. Sit into chair pose with your legs parallel. And try and push your bottom down towards the back of the heels. But loads of energy coming out through these arms. So using those arms quite positively to keep your back nice and lifted, nice and strong, belly in. Take a breath in, reach a little higher, and then as you exhale, brush the mat and come back to chair. Let's do three of those. So on your exhale, we brush, inhale, we chair. Two more. Exhale, inhale, one more. Exhale, and then inhale, reach up to the ceiling or the sky and bring the hands all the way down by the side. And then just take your feet a little wider. Turn the toes out so your legs sort of a little bit turned out. And we're just going to see how we feel about Malasana early class. So we're just going to come down into Malasana. Maybe just have a little move around first one. There's a few of these today, but you can always leave them out if you want to. And then just have a little play here. Because we're all different. You might even be able to get your heels on the floor. You might have to stay up on your toes. You might even, you know, feel a little more comfortable about sitting a bit higher up. So whatever works for you. But we're gonna use these arms quite positively. So we're gonna sweep the arms forward, squeeze the belly in, and stand from there. And just to see how it feels and whether everything clicks and clunks, we're gonna go all the way back now into Malasana. You're going to come all the way up to standing, to lifted. And just one more exhale into your Malasana. And one more inhale to your extended Tadasana. Bring the arms down by the side and find the top of the mat. I'm sort of hoping you're a bit warm now. So feet comfortable distance. Roll your shoulders back and down. Let's take a first little moment where we can just take a little bit of time to breathe. Feel the ground underneath your feet. Anchor your feet into your mat. Spread your toes out. Lift your knees and thighs up. Roll your shoulders down. 
Lift the corners of the mouth. That's called a smile. And inhale, reach both arms to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward into a forward fold. First forward fold. Lift the chest again. It's a big step back on your right leg and just lower your knee to the floor. Keep a little load in your front thigh. Sit back into a half split. So I want you to try and sit your hip back to your heel, but also walk your hands forward. Now, as you come back into your lunge, lift the back knee off the floor and take your left arm up into a little twist. As you lower this hand, I want you to straighten your left leg into pyramid and lift your chest away from that straight leg if you can. As you bend your left knee, bring your right knee back to the floor and let's add crescent moon to this. And maybe you're not ready to take a back bend here, maybe just a warrior spine. And just get a feel for your first deep lunge. Let's repeat that. Hands by your toes, sit back to your half splits. Inhale forwards, lift the back knee and the left arm raises into your twist. Lower your left hand, straighten your left leg into your pyramid, and then bend the knee again, come into your crescent moon, inhale. Bring both hands either side of your front foot, step back to plank. So plank is quite a strong pose and it is a transition. We use it in vinyasa. And let's just take a little time in it. So if you're not comfortable standing in plank for a few moments, then put your knees down. But I want you to push your shoulders away from your wrists, but then open your shoulders. Push back into your legs, and as we're sort of thinking about knees today, let's pull those knees and contract them. Same with your thighs, and the same with your belly. Lower your knees to the floor, come all the way down onto your tummy. You might need to move your hands, come into cobra, and just relax into the shoulders, and just flex into the feel of this pose. And if it doesn't feel great, Let's come all the way back down onto your tummy and make movement with your hands. So your second time you come into your cobra feels much sweeter and much nicer on your back. Down the facing dog, exhale. So on our way in, we're gonna add a warrior one. So we're gonna take our left leg off the mat, bend the knee and just find your heel drop into your bottom. Let's call this scorpion's tail. Step your foot between your hands. Give it a little help along the way if it doesn't quite get there and bring your back foot to the floor. So your first standing pose is here. It's warrior one. I want you to feel two feet firm into the mat and lengthening your spine into your warrior. Bring your hands to another step. And then from there, we're gonna step in to the top of our mat. Take a breath in, reach both arms high. Sit into your chair pose. Brush that away, exhale. Come back to chair pose, inhale. Do one more of those, exhale. Come all the way standing, inhale. Turn your feet out slightly. Come down into your balasana, inhale. And stand from there, all the way up. Find Tadasana, turning your feet back to face the top of your mat. And your arms coming down by the side. Inhale, reaching high. Exhale, folding forwards. Lift the chest to gaze, big step back this time on your left leg. And lower your back knee to the floor. The chest is a little bit loaded over your front thigh. Sit back into your half splits, feeling maybe right leg compared to left leg. As you come in, you're lifting the back knee and your right arm lifts as you twist in. So remember as we lower our hand, we are straightening our right leg into pyramid. Try and lift your chest also away from your front thigh. That will just grab a little bit more into that hamstring. Bend your back knee, crescent moon, Breathing in. Let's repeat that. Hands by your toes. Sit back to your half splits. Inhale to lunge. Lift the back knee. Your right arm lifts as you twist in. Notice what we're doing. Bent leg and straight leg. 
Lower your hand, straight leg as you lengthen your right leg. And then lower your back knee, both legs are bent, into your crescent moon. Let's really open out that spine. There might even be a little back bend there now. Hands by your toes, lift the back knee. Promise I won't hold you in plank quite so long. Step back to plank. Drop both knees to the floor and your chest. Come to your tummy. Just walk over this time at that lovely feeling into your shoulders, not tension. And down the facing dog, exhale. Now if that sort of entry through warrior was a little too much for you, you know you could always just walk to the top of your mat now. Or take your right leg off the mat into three leaned dog, bend the knee into your scorpion's tail. That's a knee bend and that's a hip stretch for your inner hip and thigh. Step your foot between your hands, give it a little help if it doesn't quite get there. Back foot to the floor, warrior one, two feet firm into the mat. And lengthening your spine away from the mat. Bring your hands by your toes and step to the top of your mat. This time just take both arms up, breathing in. And come back to Tadasana. Exhale. Okay, so we move on. We have a nice flow. And from the top of the mat, we're going to start in chair pose today. So let's come into chair pose. But this time, you're going to stay firm on your right foot and step your left foot forward. And if you put your toes on the floor, so you can really get a good solid load into that right leg. All the energy is still coming out of those fingertips as well. Now hover your left toes off the floor and see what your balance is like in this sort of single leg chair. And this is going to take us to a half moon balance. So you're going to take your left leg back, start to bring both arms down, but just your right hand comes to the floor and you're going to take your left leg and left arm up half moon balance. And then all of that strength and energy oozing out of all four limbs that are working for you, not against you. Now, as you lower your left hand down, Bring your left foot down, also turn out your toes and come into your malasana. Exhale. And then maybe just for a moment, let's bring your hands into, into prayer and pull up through the spine. One full breath in here. Stay here while you exhale. And then reach the hands forward and down and stand from there, inhale. Turn the toes to face forward. Reaching tall through the spine, exhale, fold forwards. Lift the chest to gaze, take a step back to plank. Lower the knees and the chest. Come all the way down onto the tummy. Inhale to your cobra. Exhale, down and face it up. So we're going to take your right leg off the mat, three limb dog. Bend the knee and open the hips, so your scorpion's tail. Bring your knee to your nose into tiger curl. Try and scoop that leg up into your cat spine. Try and use that push of your shoulders away from your wrists. Now cross your right thigh over your left leg into an eagle variation of down and dog, and then just gauge what you feel in this left calf and leg. Step your right foot in between your hands, your back foot to the floor. Inhale, warrior one, just where we left it last time. Now take a breath in and reach tall over more energy through the arms. And then exhale your arms to cactus, but spin onto your back toes so you're in lunge. Use your arms, push your arms down to the floor and drop your back knee to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms to the ceiling and straighten both legs to the pyramid. Now come back to your cactus lunge. Let's do that again. So arms go down, knee goes down. Arms go up, both legs straighten. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, come back to your cactus. One more. So breathing in as we go down. Breathing out as we reach. And exhale back to your cactus. 
Now this time we're just gonna go up. So both legs straight and reach the palms together above the head. How much can you reach out of your comfort zone? And then turn to face the long line of your mat. So turn into face forward. I've got myself turned away from you, but we're gonna come into a nice wide forward fold. And while you're folding forward into a wide forward fold, I'm just gonna do a quick turn to face you. So we're folding forward together. Head coming to the floor, weight coming forward at the balls of your feet. And just use this as a neutral, as a pause breath. Gather up your energy, breath in. Now come into a halfway spine. As long as you're comfortable with taking your arms away in this freestyle position, tighten your belly like plank. Take the arms out wide to the side and find your warrior arms while you're here. Now we're gonna stay here for one breath in, all of that breath out, and then lift your arms up into star pose. So we're going to turn the left foot out, so we go into the back end of your mat, into a warrior two. And we're going to take side angle pose, so arm to thigh, easy angle, if you want to go deeper you can go to your calf or to the floor, and back to warrior two. Two more of those, so inhale side angle, exhale warrior. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, warrior. Back to your style, arms straighten, legs straighten. Turn your right foot out, so you should be back facing the top end of your mat, warrior two. Now, if you've got no worries about shoulders, back and arms, we're gonna take both arms up for this one. Pin the arms to the side of the head, and then just take a little wave towards your front thigh, side angle variation and then back to your reverse warrior variation. Let's do that again, so all the way forward. Maybe that leg will go a little deeper. All the way back. One more reaching out, all that energy reaching out through both arms. And then just quietly bring this right arm to your thigh. Maybe there's a little bit more through this left side. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Big cartwheel through your arms, step back to plank. So maybe you're ready now all that's strong enough to find Chaturanga. Cobra or up facing dog, down facing dog. And just come back to down the dog, give yourself a few moments here. So make sure the weight is spread evenly through both of your hands and with your fingers. Pushing the shoulders away from you, but you're not hunching the shoulders in towards you. You're lengthening spine, but you're not overarching your spine. And you're pressing down through the heels, but you're not really doing too much worry to your hamstrings. And if your hamstrings are tight, just pinch your knees a little bit. Let's take your right leg off the floor, three limb dog. Bend your knee back into your scorpion's tail. But this time bring your right foot in between your hands, your back foot to floor, and warrior one. From your warrior one, bring your hands to your chest. Your right knee is bent, bring your left leg in bent two, and come into chair pose. Exhale. Inhale as you stand. Exhale to Dasana. And bring the arms down by the side. Roll the shoulders, I'm just going to head back to the other end of my mat, so I'm facing you and I don't have to do a quick 180 again, <laughs> nice big roll through the shoulders. Let's try it all again. So close your eyes for a moment, get reasoning and understanding of your two feet. How does your mat feel this morning? Does it feel nice and cool? Does it feel a little bit rugged? Have you got a nice mat that really grips you? that a little slippery sometimes maybe when we get a bit warm and we get a bit sweaty is a bit of a challenge isn't it so let's take a breath in and sit into our chair pose exhale this time you're going to stand strong on your left leg and point your right toes forward and i would just say put your toes lightly on the floor to start because it is a funny variation and we sort of need to get used to it 
but then when that left leg stands, feels grounded and strong, lift the right toes off the floor and really get a root down, even if it's a little shaky and a little wobbly, think of those arms, reach, reach, reach. Now we're going to take that right leg back, start to bring both arms down, but only your left hand comes to the floor, your right arm is going to sweep up with your right leg and then really stretch out through all four of your limbs, even if your left leg is a tiny bit bent. Half moon. Now as your right hand comes down, bring your right leg down, turn your feet out to the two corners of the mat, come into your malasana. Bring your hands into prayer, pull up through the spine and take a breath. And then reach those arms forward, use them positively, pull yourself up, inhale, turn your feet to face forward, and forward fold, exhale. Lift the chest again, you're stepping or maybe try a little jump this time. Come to the floor or halfway chaturanga, cobra up dog, and downward facing dog. This time it's all on the left side. So left leg is lifted, bend the knee to your scorpion, bring your knee to your nose to your tiger tail, try and scoop that leg up into that chest, into that thigh, into that hollow of your cat's spine. Cross that leg over your right thigh to eagle. How does that feel there? Step your left foot between your hands, your back foot to floor, coming up into warrior one. And then just really anchor. It's always nice to feel like we've got two feet on the ground. So use that foundation nice and strong, nice and solid. Start to cactus your arms, but spin onto your back toes. Push those arms down. Drop your right knee down. Breathe in, reach up. And then come back to your cactus. Let's do that again. So push the arms down. Reach everything up and back to cactus. One more. Leg goes down. We go up and back to cactus. So let's just go up with the legs and the arms. And you know, there might even be a little back bend there this time. And then turn to face forward and just to fold. So just whatever you feel here. Bent legs, straight legs, you can take hold of your ankles. And any little variation here, you could grow a headstand if you wanted to. Or you could just take a nice full breath in. All of that breath out. And then come to your tabletop spine. So if those warrior arms didn't suit you, don't do them. Just stay with your fingertips on the floor. Otherwise, take the arms out. Try not to look at the screen. Try and keep your head in line with the spine. Try and involve your body like plank with your torso, with your spine. And try and activate those arms. Inhale, lift, star pose. This time you're turning your right foot out first, worry two, so back end of your mat. And coming into side angle pose. Exhale, a little warmer now. Come back to worry two. Two more of those, so one breath, one movement. One side angle pose. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. All oh, there is to it. Straighten both legs, both arms. Star pose. Left foot turns out. Worry two. Reach both arms up. Lengthen through both sides. Take a little wave towards your left thigh. Take a little wave back to your reverse. All the way forward, maybe that leg will go a little deeper. All the way back. One more, reach, reach. And then quietly bring that left arm down and lengthen a little more through the right side. Let's add a reverse. Exhale. Big cartwheel through your arms. Step back to plank. Come all the way down onto your tummy. Oh, how nice. 
Move your hands a little bit, relax your toes. Come back to those two cobras. Nice full breath in. And then just come down, chest, chin, nose, forehead. Let's go there again, breathing in. This time coming back into downward facing dog. So this warrior that we're just approaching, this is gonna bring us into our last flow. So if you need more time to rest, you know you could always pause the video, come back in and join. But some of what we've just done has gone. Some of what we've just done is come back. And there's a little bit more to add at the end. So if you're happy and you're comfortable to come with me, left leg leaves the mat. Bend that knee to scorpion. Step your left foot between your hands. Back foot to floor. Inhale, warrior one. And breathe. Get up that energy. Bring your hands to your chest. Left leg is bent. Step in. Chair pose. Take a breath in, reach the arms high. Exhale, brush. Inhale, stand. Exhale, fold. Bend the chest to gaze, vinyasa, step or jump. Chaturanga or to the floor. Cobra up dog. Down the facing dog. So let's go back to your right leg lifting. Inhale. Bend your knee to your scorpion. Tiger curl, exhale. Wrap that thigh around your left thigh, eagle. Step your right foot in between your hands, back foot to the floor. Last warrior one on this side. Inhale. But from your warrior, take your practice. And then inhale, reach the arms high. Straighten your right leg to pyramid. Turn to face the wide line of your mat. Come into your wide forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, come to your halfway spine. Take the arms out wide to the side. Hold for a breath. Stay for the exhale. Reach the arms high on the inhale. It's your left leg we're turning out into your warrior two. Just one side angle, you know, maybe you could go a little deeper this time as your body's a little warmer. And then come back to your warrior two. Straighten the leg, the arms come into your star pose, inhale. Turn your right leg out, come to your warrior two, exhale. We added arms, didn't we? So both arms lift. Taking that little wave towards your right thigh and back towards your reverse. Drop your left hand down on your thigh this time. Maybe you can add a little bit more to that back bend. And then let's straighten our right leg out into that little reverse here. Bring the arms out wide to the side and breathe. How are we doing? Triangle, let's just link a new, try to, a new pose in. Triangle pose. What I say to all my classes is that triangle pose is very angular. It's straight this, it's straight that, it's straight everything. But make sure you've got adjustment. If I ask you to turn your chest and roll your shoulder, you can. You're not so far, you're stuck. So if you feel a little stuck, come a little higher. Now inhale, lift from there. Bend your right knee to your last warrior on this side. But let's find half moon from here. So find your right hand to the corner edge of your mat and then lift half moon balance. So every limb oozing energy, right leg, left leg, particularly right arm, left arm, absolutely. Use that core, squeeze that belly in. Now, as you lower your hand down, turn your hips so they face your mat. Bring your left leg down. Take your feet a little wider. Turn your toes out a little more. And drop into your malasana. 
reach those hands forward, take a breath in, reach to the ceiling, maybe to the sky, turn your toes to face forward, sit into your chair, fold from there, exhale, on the homeward run, lift the chest to gaze, step or try a little jump, chaturanga or to the floor, cobra up dog, Two corners of the mouth lifted. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Exhale. Give yourself a couple of breaths here. And down dog. Just going to make adjustments so I've always got you on screen. You're going to look at my back, do you? So taking a breath in, left leg lifts. That last little feel of scorpion's tail. Tiger curl, exhale. Scooping that leg up. Cross it over your right thigh to eagle. Step your foot between your hands, bring your back foot to the floor because we are in warrior one. One last time. Inhale. That beautiful feeling you get in cactus. Open the arms, open the chest. Straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Inhale, reach a little back leg maybe. Turn to face the line of your mat. Your pause breath, wide, forward, fold, waves forward, body's relaxing, breathing in, halfway, remember you can leave your hands on the floor or take them out wide to the side, heart forward, crown of the head in line with the spine, one breath in, stay for the exhale, star pose on your inhale, Right leg turns out, worry to side angle, maybe we're just tempted to go a little deeper this time, reach a little higher, back to worry to, back to your last star pose today, and worry to back on your left side, those strong arms if you want them, reach the arms up. A little float wave towards your left thigh, a little wave back to your right thigh, drop your right hand down the back of your leg, reverse warrior, and then straighten your left leg, that back leg might feel just a little more, so try and tuck in that right glute as well. Bring your arms out wide to the side, worry too. Have a look at that left corner of the mat, see it in the corner of your eye. Bring your left hand down to it. Remember we're going to use all the energy in all four legs. So lift in the right leg, lift in the right arm, stretch in all four limbs. Feel that you're open across the chest, the back of the shoulders. And then bring that hand down, whoops, <laughs> stretch that leg up and bring your foot either side of each other. Toes turn now, Malasana. Bring the hands into Namaste. So sometimes when I'm, I come to the end of a class and I sort of think, oh my goodness, I'm so worked. You sort of feel like you want to have to lay down. But sometimes when you feel that and you've got all this heat and you've got all this sort of, flow going around your body. Maybe we could just do one more thing. So nice big hands on the mat. Lift your bottom so you feel that you could do a crow pose with a cup of tea on your back. Start to bring your weight over the backs of your arms or any variation that you use in your crow. Maybe you will get your feet off the floor. Maybe you won't. I can probably do it for a moment after I broke my wrist. So it's not a great thing for me at the moment and then lower back. And I'm sure yours was way better than mine. Come back to Malasana. You won't want to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Use these arms, breathing lift, a lovely stretch up, and come all the way back, Malasana. One more of those. Breathing in, and breathing out. Place your hands on the mat behind you and come to your bottom and come to your backs. 
and hug your knees in. Now I'm very much a perfectionist and when I teach I am, um, I just have to sort of just take that perfect teaching, perfect practice and I'm thoroughly aware when I'm in on my back that I believe I missed out a triangle pose on that last side. So you're probably thinking, oh, she forgot triangle pose. And I absolutely did, and I'm really sorry. So if you decide to do this class again, and I really hope you do, remember that triangle pose at the end. <laughs> remember me saying, oh, I forgot triangle pose. But that's us, isn't it? We're not perfect, are we? And if you come to my classes, you know I very much forget right and left, so I did pretty well, actually, today. <laughs> okay. So all we're going to do, happy baby, flex your feet, find the inside of your heels, outside of your heels, inside of your knees, outside of your knees, whatever you can grab. Try and get that sort of lowest part of your back on the floor if you can. And then just have a little rock side to side. Feels really nice. Real nice counter stretch. And then we're going to gather the legs up, hug the knees together. And go back to crossing your right knee over your left. But this time, reach up and try and find the fronts of the ankles or feet. And pull your heels down towards the side of your hips. And that could be where you stay. Or lift your head, find your heels with your hands. And take your legs up into your little cow forms. And then flex your feet. So your legs look like a hockey stick. And then sort of just feel like you're just trying to tighten it, tighten the bow a little bit. Get a little, sort of a bit more of a feel in those outer hips. And then maybe have a rock side to side if you're already doing that. And then just let the legs go, uncross them and let them ping. Bring your arms out to the side. Let's take our legs over to the right side and leave them on the floor. Put them on the floor. Maybe turn your head the other way and just breathe. That whole feeling, that lovely zigzag that just sort of washes along the line of your body there. Right through onwards to the tips of your fingers. And that softness in the back of the eyes. It might be the first time you've really come back to your breath in a really noticeable way. And then just bring the legs back into centre. Come back to happy baby. You rock side to side. And then gather up the legs. This time you're crossing your left over your right. Just going to catch the fronts of the legs first and pull them down because that might be all you can manage and that is absolutely fine. An awful lot of people in my class who, who's, for this pose is really, really tricky. But if you can, lift your head, find your heels and lift your legs up. You can do this for that's in your calves if you want to. And then just intensify it, make a knot, tie a bow, flex your feet, look up at your legs. Think, what breed of cow am I? <laughs> so many breeds. <laughs> and have a little rock side to side. Beautiful stretch. And then let's let them go. Ping. Hug your knees in. Arms way out to the side. Drop your legs over to the left side this time. And turn your head away. And your shoulders go. Let your mind clear. I think this side of yoga isn't just a body workout. It's a brain workout as well, isn't it? So much information, so much following. But really you're just following your body. Following your body, following your breath. Come back to centre. And then just give your body a lovely big stretch. Nice long stretch out. All of your limbs, your spine your torso, everything stretch, 
his veins, your internal organs, all having a lovely feeling of space. As you bring your arms down by your side, just bring your feet underneath your knees and just ripple your spine into and away from your mat. So like you're making just a little pattern in the water with your spine. And you can absolutely stay with that as we close the class. Or if you want to, from that imprint of your spine, just lift your hips to bridge. Use your legs, use your arms, use your shoulders, whatever's on the mat, use it to support you. Take a whole breath in here. Stay this for your exhale. Inhale again. And roll down bone by bone, that little ripple effect as you come down. So you can either, and I absolutely feel that this is probably what you choose, just stretch out in Shavasana. Close the video down, put some music on that just really feels quite relaxing and calming. And just give yourself a few minutes in Shavasana. Otherwise I'm going to close the practice with you. So if you're coming with me, I'm going to hug your knees in. Give your legs a hug, give your back a little massage, give your body a little love. Curl your head up to meet the legs. And bring yourself up, whatever way you feel comfortable, safe and happy. And come back and come into a seated where I sort of met and joined you today. Take a lovely big roll through your shoulders. Pick up that posture through your spine. Take one hand to your opposite knee. And just as you exhale... Just twist. Maybe soften your gaze to the hand on the floor. Maybe soften both your shoulders away from your, from your ears. Bring both arms to the ceiling, softly and quietly. Pick up the spine. And then exhale as you take the twist to the other side. The hand that's behind you, leave it there. And take both hands behind you. And you know that feeling in, in cactus where we open our chest? Let's find that here. And you know where your heart is looking, where your eyes are looking. A really lovely arm flow. So inhale both arms to the ceiling. Exhale two cactus. Inhale back. Exhale the hands down through heart centre. And namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been a little while. I really hope you enjoyed that flow. If you don't, haven't subscribed, please do. And I will try and add some more videos really soon. Enjoy your day.